Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to create an Azure WAF version 2. WAF is the web application firewall on application gateway using an ARM template. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Okay, I'm logged on to the portal. So let me tell you what a WAF is. So if I go here, you know, web application firewall policies, you will see that you when you create uh, when you go on to the WAF web application firewall on the Azure portal, you get to know that okay, create a web application firewall policy, which is a WAF. You don't actually create a WAF. WAF is actually a concept. What does it do? So it says that uh, malicious attacks such as SQL injection, cross site scripting, and other OWASP top 10 threats could cause service outage or data loss and pose a big threat to web application owners. WAF protects your web application from common web attacks, keeps your service available and helps you meet compliance requirements. So if you want to read more about it on the Microsoft documentation, you can come here. Let's let's go through it. So web application firewall provides centralized protection for the web application from common exploits and vulnerabilities. Web applications are increasingly targeted by malicious attacks that exploit commonly known vulnerabilities, SQL injection, cross-site scripting, as I told you. So, let's say this is your uh, WAF in between of the traffic coming in and going. Uh, this is your uh, Microsoft network. This is your public network. This is your on-premise. This is your other cloud. So, preventing such attacks in application code is challenging. It can require rigorous maintenance, patching and monitoring at multiple layers. A centralized web application firewall helps make security management much simpler. A WAF also gives application administrator better assurance of protection against threats and intrusion. So, supported services are that web can be deployed with Azure Application Gateway. It can be deployed with Azure Front Door, Azure CDN and other services from Microsoft. So, WAF on Azure CDN is currently under public preview. WAF has features that are customized for each specific service. So we'll deploy it. So in here, we will deploy WAF through the ARM template. And now if you want to deploy directly onto this, so you can click on to the Microsoft documentation and go to deploy to Azure, which would take you to the Azure portal and make sure that you are logged on with your Azure ID. Like I am logged on with my ID in my so what i would do is i would switch it to my current working directory in which i have a subscription attached and it will open up here now if you want to see the template right so if you want to see the template on a github this is uh, your uh, template which which shows you that okay, it asks for the admin password it asks for the location the vm size you can edit it and these are the variables okay virtual machine vm name vnet name so this these would these resources would be deployed in uh, with uh, with this deployment so if you remember when you deploy an application gateway you can uh, deploy an application gateway without adding backend uh, targets or the servers in the backend pool remember we created that in the, in the past videos right and you can add backend pools later. You can set HTTPS, you can create a routing rule, HTTP rule, and so on and so forth. So in here, so it creates the back backend HTTPS setting collection. It creates uh, the listeners on which you uh, see the routing rules. And it, it, it is only using HTTP right so if i go back here and if you want to edit the template right if you want to modify something you can edit on the portal as well and if you don't want to do it you can cancel this and you can come here you if you want to edit this size standard b2ms so it says okay standard b2ms uh, vm size you can check that on to the so the b2ms so this is the two vcpus so you can 
standard underscore b1 s you can do it. So, if I go here you know and do it here and if I go okay, I want to edit the template. So, in here I can do this. Do this. I can save it. Right. See, it's standard B2 MS now. Copy. Edit. B1. MS standard undergo B one S in here. Save it. Now I get the size here. So you can change it. You can you are getting an option. In the drop down, I can go to East US. And if you want to see the web application firewall here, you can do this. So it is application gateway WAF policy it is creating, and it is creating this WAF policy. So we will try to create it from the portal as well. So let me deploy it now and I will also make a video wherein we will enable the web application, we will create an application gateway with web application firewall using the Azure portal as well. For now let me deploy this template. So if you would do this, so you can give the admin username and password. Right. It would pick up the small, you can create a new resource group. Their app gateway WAF or Sir WAF app gateway. You will review create. It is creating eight resources. So it's creating public IP. It's creating uh, two VMs. It is creating uh, your WAF policies. It is creating a virtual network. It is creating one uh, front end subnet, one back end subnet. In front end subnet, it would have your application gateway with the public IP attached to it so that you can browse that on the browser. And then on the back end subnet, it will place those two VMs which are added as the back end pool. Right. So let me click on create. It's initializing the deployment. Deployment is in progress. If you would see, it is creating a virtual network. It is creating the NSG for uh, VM1, VM2. It is creating a public IP1. Two for both the VMs. It is creating a public IP zero for my front end IP for my uh, application gateway. Then it is creating a WAF policy, and in here it is deploying my application gateway. Right. So if I want to delete this deployment, I can just go and uh, delete my resource group. Okay. I got an error stating that uh, the standard B if is not a valid size standard B one small. So you should or you go with the, the same size when you are following this documentation and you will be able to deploy uh, application gateway we, with WAF policies through an ARM template. So in the next video, we will see how to configure an application gateway with WAF using the Azure portal. If you have any queries, please mention them in the comment section. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day ahead. Bye-bye.